the sun did not stop us from visiting another fascinating structure in Bacolod City. Being the ruins have somewhat made us feel like we have traveled back in the past. And today, a memorable structure will surely bring us back into the present, modern day. Hi, amazing people! Right now, we're here at Pope John Paul II Tower. This tower stands as a memorial to Pope John Paul II's historic visit on February 20, 1981, where he was received and welcomed by a lot of faithful Bacolenos in this same place, the reclamation area here in Bacolod City. So let's take a glimpse of Pope John Paul II's memorial tower. Before going in, an 8-foot statue of Pope John Paul II will welcome you. This statue carries the charming smile that Pope was known and loved for. A wonderful welcoming spirit that is found so inviting. Pope John Paul II Tower stands tall in Bacolod City in the province of Negros Occidental, one of the tallest peaks in the city. The Pope John Paul II Tower was inaugurated last February 18 this year commemorate the visit of the late Pope John Paul II in Bacolod. The tower is composed of seven stories with relatively small floor area that made it really look like a tower. Bacolod City's skyscrapers and landmarks are fast changing from a simple town 70 years ago to a very progressive city that it is now. Celebrating the new icons of Bacolod, the theme for this year's festival points out on how far the city had gone in terms of its development. Exactly, and Pope John Paul II Tower is also considered as a new icon for Bacolod, alongside with other personalities, structures that best define Bacolod City. This landmark stands in 700 square meter lot at the reclamation area within the Bacolod Real Estate Development Corporation. The Pope celebrated a Eucharist on this actual site before an assembly of almost a million people. This chair is a gift of love to Pope John Paul II during his pastoral visit here at Bacolod Diocese last February 20, 1981. So, let's take a look at some memorabilia. Exactly, Jordan. Go, go. One could have a chance to know more about the late blessed Pope John Paul II. You'll get the chance to see the memorabilia of the late Pope during his historic visit in this province. And also, you'll definitely get some useful facts about his life before and during his papal service. So you can see here pictures of Carol Whiteva, or better known as Pope John Paul II. So here, the wedding day of his parents, from his infancy to his teenage years, or during his seminary years. So a trivia, before he entered the seminary, he first volunteered in the military. So that's Pope John Paul II. floor of the tower, we noticed that most people who visit the place are students, and we even met some foreigners. This only shows that this tower, which symbolizes how solid Bacolenos are when it comes to religion, is a must-visited place in Bacolod. So, for those who want to relieve the spirit of one of the most influential men in the world, why not check out this place? Go up. 
This tower is open from 7 in the morning until 8 in the evening. For those who want to visit this place, you will have to prepare yourself. If you really want to reach the summit of this tower, you have to trek your way up. Upon reaching the top floor, you will surely enjoy the breathtaking view of Bacolod City and the splendid Gimara Strait. Amazing people, we should congratulate Jordan for making it up here, up to the roof deck. My God, he's really, really nervous. You know what, Church? <laughs> it took a lot of courage for me to go up here yes. because I have this great fear of heights. But the view here is so great. You can see uh, a lot of establishments. You can see almost uh, the beauty of Bacolod City. Almost, entire Bacolod yeah, entire City. Bacolod City. Indeed, the late Pope has been a source of inspiration for the millions of Catholics in the world. And Bacolod is lucky to have been visited by him at a most challenging time for the province of Negros Occidental. The Pope Tower will be more than a tourist attraction for the Negrenses, and it will also serve as a reminder that God will never forsake His people.